What's up, y'all? It's Vapor88. Welcome back to another mod review video. And today, I'm going to be talking about the Hex Ohm mod. I got the version 2.1. Um, I've had this for a while. I actually got this in August. Yes, yes, I got it August at Vape Anvil uh, 2015 in Nashville. And I have been running this ever since. <laughs> um, it's a really good tank it's, it's I guess you could say it's regulated just because it goes from zero to a hundred like watts um this right here is the dial wait on it focus in yeah so that's the dial right there where you pretty much you know change the settings zero is like your um I want to say like your four no it's like your three and then 50 is like 4.5 kind of sorta and then 100 is like the 6 it's kind of somewhere in there it's either 3 to 6 or 4 to 6 but um this works really really well uh right here as you can tell it has a little push button that starts it there's no on and off with this also each one comes with a serial number like I said like mine right there is uh 488 right there so you can see and it's the version 2 right um like I said, there's no on and off switch on this one. I got this one courtesy of Good Life Vapor. Um, I don't know if you can see their logo right there. Yeah. Also, for those of you wondering, this is a, a the E Cliff I scored while I was there. Also, their website is in the description box as well. Um, as far as sub ohm tanks go and RDAs, this thing is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> um, produces really good clouds. Um, really good you know pretty much heat to juice ratio if that makes any sense uh they come in a bunch of nifty different colors i looked up and got this one because see it matches but um like i said this one's actually really really well uh you know like i said it puts out a lot you know and it's even more with the mask off but these right here this is the battery case Right here, this is the backing. I mean, it's full. It's full metal, and it has magnets on it. Right, the magnets keep it secured to the back. Also, it runs two 18650 batteries. Um, this is the microchip right here that runs it. I've been told there's two kinds of chips that run with these. Uh, I got the first one, which is like an OK, and I don't fully remember the serial number. But um, through Craving Vapor, it has a lifetime warranty on it, and also. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions or anything, you can always look on the inside of the battery sled. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. And it'll have like cravingvapor.com. It's got the um the website information and everything in there. So that way if you have any issues with your uh with your microchip or anything's wrong with your box, go ahead and contact them. Um the information is also down in the bottom. Uh, okay, now it's giving me a hard time. Right? <laughs> oh, okay, the battery wasn't pushing all the way. There we go. Also, this one has it where if the batteries are in backwards, it will not work. Which is definitely a good feature. Um, like I said, I can't really say too much more on it. Just, I mean... It's an awesome, it's an awesome box mod. Um, if you have the chance to get a Hexone box mod, go ahead and get one. Like once you get it, you will not be disappointed. And I know there's a lot of others out there, like the Sigeli and the Snow Wolf and everything. Those are all really good as well. But like I said, so far the Hexone box mod has been my daily vape since August, and I have not looked back. And it's also, like I said, the there, there's like all the features on it are really really well placed you know and then for those of you whether you want to hold it like this see you hold it like this you know like that or if you hold it with your thumb right here either way you know it's made to fire relatively easy and you don't have to worry right there we go hold on Batteries are acting all funny. There we go. Also, as well with these, whatever batteries you get, make sure you run them as 
a pair like don't mix batteries or anything because the um, the charge levels will differ because I've plugged my batteries in to recharge them and like I've had one where it's like one bar and then another battery is like showing two bars but I've been using them together you don't want to run into that if you mix batteries because you never know you know if you mix old and new batteries how it's going to react you don't want to take the chance of your chip cracking or you know your box exploding or whatever it's not something you want to risk so whatever batteries you get make sure you run them as a pair make sure you get them at the same time and make sure they're always together when you, you know, go to install. Um, like I said, it's just, I mean, look at that. Clouds, you know, clouds for days, right? Anyway, um, I recommend getting the Hexome box mod. And if you haven't had the chance to check one out, go ahead, stop by your local vape shop and see if they got one. If not, go on to va uh, cravingvapor.com and you know just look browse through their selections also their customer service on there is a1 and if you have any questions or any concerns they will always be there to definitely answer and steer you in the right direction but as always this has been another mod review i'm your boy vapor 88 stay tuned eat sleep vapor repeat and i'll catch you guys later latest <laughs>